Hello YouTube, Alpha Wifel bringing you another video after a pretty long hiatus. Now I know I haven't been uploading very frequently and I am sorry about that, but real life has been catching up to me and unfortunately YouTube does not pay the bills. However, if you want to have more frequent uploads, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help us bring ourselves a little bit closer to that 1000 subscriber goal. Once we hit that, it'll just be a continuing process of next goal up, next goal up, next goal up. Beyond that though, if you like this video, indicate so down below, and if you have suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments. Now, anyone who's been paying attention to the channel for the last couple weeks will have noticed that I've started to upload video game playthroughs of Rogue Trader. I've just gotten started on playing it, having a lot of fun with it, even though my latest uh, gameplay session was pretty much an hour of me running around in a circle because I got lost. but. You'll be able to get to see that when I manage to get it uploaded. This, however, so Reaper introduced me to the Russian Badger, and I never really thought too much about it. I've seen some little clips of his videos on things like iFunny and in other meme reels, but never really seen too much about him. This, however, because it's talking about a game that I've been hearing a lot about, uh, Lethal Company, I am interested in seeing where exactly he's going with this, and what I remember of his videos that I have seen, it's a case of he really does a great job of explaining the plot, the gameplay, and a lot of the funny moments of the game in question. In terms of Lethal Company, though, what I know most about it is the fact that a lot of the gameplay footage that I've seen is legitimately just a case of a, a player will say something, and then with almost perfectly timed, perfect comedic timing, something awful happens. They'll be just talking about how there's no monsters around, and the next thing they know, there's a monster right there biting their head off. So I'm curious to see what kind of what kind of mishaps Badger gets into in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we are a go in three, two, one, and play. Lethal Company is like an easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a squelching noise. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range... Okay, <laughs> inside of a haunted house, crawling with monsters... <laughs> ...with the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. This is what minimum wage is like in the United States. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god. As a $10 game made by a furry in his basement, I am more really? obligated to play it, so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bombed. Of course, Hadi no. drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamar. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an air horn to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. To warn you in advance, this video is sponsored They just by get Swaps. killed by a ladder! collection on sale for a limited time, but I'm not gonna tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt the story. Okay, that's good. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company called The Company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, I love Fallout New Vegas. To avoid your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? You know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space if you don't get a quota, right? This may seem like just another boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience horrors beyond your comprehension in the name of quota. Yo, why he Urple? <laughs> oh my god! your best friends in the name of quota. Shut up, shut up, about your kids subs, shut up, fuck. Oh no, you're about to be left behind. Okay, fuck you, fuck you, it's getting you! It's Your getting sacrifice you. will be remembered! It's getting you, Doc, sorry! Start the ship, start the fucking ship, put the keys <laughs> in the ship, please! Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear, when I say it's quota or die. Yes, yeah, in the ziplock, so call that shit loud and clear! <laughs> quota is achieved by stealing- 
repurposing random junk from quote abandoned industrialized moons that I can assure you were abandoned for a reason. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! That's a good reason. Officially called scrap is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no sense <laughs> is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles can be worth more than an engine. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, each and every one of you is worth wow. five whole credits. Why does this game's wow. economy let you Holy trade five around. human beings for a jar of pickles? <laughs> right. I bought you a gift. That's some Imperium logic right there. Pickles? <laughs> Those are... <laughs> value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, the more it drains your stamina and hurts your region. Mm. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close doors on them, right? They can't open doors. Oh, they can't. What open is that? <laughs> Dipshit, dumbass spider can't even open a goofy uh, doors. Open doors. That's a giant oh, wow, spider. spider. Has opposable thumbs. <laughs> The five basic okay, you'll make this is already looking like good. Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, interacting, pointing. Loaf. I saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important for spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? Yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't preachers like professional yappers? <laughs> I mean, they yap. Yeah, 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 is a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap. No, it's just horrifying. Which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else. With a perfect example being. Oh yes, yo, screaming as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. <laughs> yo, you actually had. <laughs> that proximity chat Soda! is interesting. That proximity chat is good. There's quirkiness when it comes to scrap, and the apparatus is a prime example. This mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting, so once you take it, all the electricity is gone, which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels. I love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty big fan. I grab this thing and I ruin everybody's day. Me grabbing my car keys after 12 Oh no. <laughs> Man, I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. Which one of you fucks oh, pulled the battery? Dude, I was <laughs> by myself. I was by myself picking shit up and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make my way back. And then all the fucking lights turned off. So that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Perfect comedic timing. Just as you're thinking, at least it's at least it's well lit so I can see where I'm going. Lights off. And you cannot help but just think, oh, which one of you assholes pulled that goddamn power power switch, that battery pack or whatever it is. The apparatus. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> you can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight, but my goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way. Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits. That a hair dryer, like, uh, like keys that unlock doors. I got a key for moments like this. Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs, so I can beat the shit out of. Oh, okay. You can defend yourself here. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game, next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is and trust me weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick once Today's you get up your mind, you're typing no. out then where you want to go like the company building so you can cash out your scrap much like all okay. things lethal company the hq is also trying to kill you turning in your scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected Oh God. <laughs> what is that assuming you survive what the is monster, that it's time for payday ah, i need 
need a minute. I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items. Hmm. But any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value. Sometimes 30 cents okay. on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did that... Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. <laughs> Yes, very new serious. Found credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that costs money if you want to land on them. They are both higher risk and higher reward, because even though they cost credits, these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap. Hey, what's up, oh, bitch? God. Oh, God. Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, bro! You're moving the trash! <laughs> I, oh, saw, I saw four money. people lined up. <laughs> oh, my God! How much money did we pay to travel okay. to this planet? Another major option for burning credits, items. And there I we go. You're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Beans. What kind of beans? What the fuck? I think there's a joke here that I'm just not getting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where'd my moon dogs go? I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now. People love modding this shit. Dog, I think I downloaded the whole company. <laughs> Is that like the new version of there's an app for that? There's a mod for that. Y'all remember when that was a thing? When people would see an app on your phones like, oh my god, there's an app for that? Nowadays, it's literally a case of, oh yeah, there's, there's a mod for that. And naturally... <laughs> Naturally, someone had to create a mod that allows you to play Among Us crewmates. Great. <laughs> and who needs beans when you got swouts? My brand new limited time merch that took okay, me here two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off. And that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. You got something to You got something If you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean... You are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot on a construction site, so I've got no business wearing the uniform of a guy that works 37 hours a day. 85 hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like Fair. polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. My Swaux's hoodie is the perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape, and always looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine. Tossing shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick. All the things that make you want to say Swaux's. My cousin Tyler did such a great job with the designs that we decided to make t-shirts and mouse pads too. I mean, swaps pads. I am so committed to the quality of this merch that the first thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers. I'm gonna break wow. my hands doing this. You've got two weeks from today to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months. I know that's a little bit of a wait, but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie. Unlike those limited merch drops that sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item. That's so fucking stupid. I stand by the quality of my products. You can cancel or refund at any time, I will give you your money back. And I am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on. Use code BADGER for 10% off and thank you for hearing me out. Okay. Moving on from swouse to more serious items, we gotta talk about flashlights. There. Because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery? I'm gonna crack <laughs> your fucking skull open. If you don't have a flashlight to... So, I remember growing up there, my family was a big fan of the mag lights. You know, those like f foot long black metal cased flashlights that took those big old bulky batteries in order to power. Super bright, super tough, super durable. Those things would, those things could fall out of your car onto the pavement and be perfectly fine. I remember, I remember holding those and thinking, this thing is a freaking weapon. This is a weapon in my hand. It just happens to also shine light. To spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready to nay-nay your ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. 
Wow, well, there's also this turret. <laughs> <laughs> No flashlight, no bread alert. <laughs> These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really missed that flashlight. There's a dipshit version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery. And if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items Fair. including flashlights are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad, and the walkie-talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie-talkie, but my friends are so loud that I just can't use it. Well, all of you shut the fuck up. Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck bought a toilet? <laughs> situational utility like performance enhancing medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video, even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo of amphetamines and helium. Oh, I gotta hit it? It's a hell of a hit. <laughs> same situational slash possibly useless category even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard my homies never deploy it correctly on any monster spiders included he's got a flashbang you're right you're right there's a mine as well <laughs> mop mop hey look i see you, maybe it worked uh, oh i think it died you killed it dog it's dead I'm walking past this one. Oh, oh, it's not dead. It's not dead. <laughs> oh. The item more likely to betray your teammates than a okay, here we go. Is a ladder. I remember no this from the earlier portion is, of the video. It's only as safe as the guy that's holding. Just fucking jump, drop it all. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just a bad. Yeah, not so funny now, are you? You want something fair. truly useful? Buy that a is fair. Which lets you yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is the story. You doing this? this? Very important to do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't... Uh, okay. What? Who's getting excited? Oh. Stop. 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 There's even an inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility. As scary as that. <laughs> Press the yellow button. Okay. Yeah, I can uh, imagine teleporting into a right, random no, room no, 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 is no, no, not a good idea. That is horrifying that all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that items do not travel with you. Oh, so no. it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumbass. Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> no way! I gotta see what happens. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf, Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a Loaf still alive in here? That answers my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, yeah. it's time to move on from items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> It goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company, but if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know what? I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So I think well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> That's my opinion right now. I thought you said it was tech. Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addictive. The Spider-Man meme. With a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship, and you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close it on, Digi. <laughs> or alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate to potentially save his Ooh. life, but run the risk of the monster getting yeah. inside and killing all of you. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open okay, up, coming, coming, coming. Open up, open okay, up. okay, 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 okay. Oh no. Why did you bring the bees in? Fuck bitch. This is a major reason why Lethal Company is incredible, because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates oh, he is did. always exciting. Oh, Oh, here they come, here they come, Grab here it. they come, here they come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Oh, he left him behind. He 
left Gary behind. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you, did you spend 500 fucking dollars? <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team Yes. Going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage. The teamwork dynamic radically changes if you have the big lobby mod enabled, which is extremely popular and changes the team from a max of four players to four. 40 players and the more oh. players you have the less teamwork is important. obviously in a lobby exceeding 10 players it's gonna feel like you picked up an entire menards worth of contractors on the way to that moon <laughs> smoking on the menards <laughs> two by four bro <laughs> menards two by fours aren't two by fours anymore they're 1.5 by 3.5 so <laughs> five hours a motherfucking day i do this shit for a living you got soft hands you got soft hands you got soft hands you got hours a motherfucking now that I'm thinking about it, everything changes when Okay, you don't know what that was about. Players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you <laughs> hear is chatter about George W. Bush. I got a picture of George W. God, why is it so... Yo, what were you Hello? saying about George Bush earlier before you cut off? I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, oh, I take a shit, get something. out of bed, and then I <laughs> I kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time. In all fairness, in all fairness, the picture kissing is not the weirdest thing in that ritual, obviously. It's still weird, but it's not the weirdest part. We got to the monsters anyway, because each one there we go. adds yet another layer of complexity and, quite frankly, fun, if you ask me. Oh! <laughs> Wait, somebody's on the Goodbye. <laughs> when you land on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m., and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Go, 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 go! 7.25 an hour, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! If you ain't first, you're last. Get up that ladder, boy. Because the ship will automatically leave you behind at midnight, and oh. as the day goes on, more and more monsters. Oh. Will you. Yo, what the? You might think you're built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting g-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'm good. Out of there. I'm built different. I'm willing to bet. That him going, I'm built different, is going to last all the way until he encounters, like, the first enemy in this forest. And then he's not going to be built different anymore. Man, I'm built different. That's right. I made it. I'm built distinctly, bro. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him you're built different. <laughs> the first monster to keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more interns than any other monster. As a Skyrim player, I'm very familiar. The pushing people is ridiculous. Oh shit. No. What? <laughs> I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. <laughs> mm, kinda sussy, I'm gonna be real. Okay, okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. <laughs> you cannot spell suspicious. Right. Well... S... Right, you go first. E... <laughs> At least it's a flashbang and not an actual grenade. Have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't anymore. Mamma mia! <laughs> But what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be on it. So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. <laughs> Some monsters you can negotiate with, like hoarding bugs, that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. He's so he's happy. Excited. That was a good trade. It truly does not matter what that <clears throat> loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately go do a crime. 
Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take a I'm shotgun. Negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. 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 But don't go thinking that every monster can be negotiated with, because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. I'm gonna give him some Coca-Cola and we'll negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's up for negotiation. Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him Freddy Rizbear again, I'm gonna ban you, Jamesy. Oh my God, he's right there! Hey, what's up, my boy? Oh my God! Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long. But if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, okay, yep. okay, he came back. He shannon short. Senor Bracken, come out to play. No. Uh -oh. oh my god. Some monster interactions are just horse shit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death sentence. Damn, that's quick. <laughs> what? Is that speed? It crossed like that gap like would be crazy. So hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Fine. Oh, girl, fuck this fine. All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. She ran away because she's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit. Dumbad child. For the most part, each monster has flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God. If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm gonna say it super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh, God. Not quietly oh, enough. Look at me, I proc on sound. Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the Oh, that's some SCP I mean, shit. takes the cake for me. Yep. No, I could not get out. Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. Oh, that movement is horrifying. <laughs> Cooperation, to bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Wow. Uh, well, can you close doors on them? Oh, what, the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Do not go in there. Oh, he's gonna go in there. Do not go in there. Do not go in there. You're only encouraging him by... All right, I'm gonna go back to the ship. All right. So what happened? You, you all died. Right. So um, you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger this way. Badger this you way. You a whole bit. Oh. No, wait. What if I the other way. Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god. I got this. <laughs> I got a single frame of that scream. If you prefer fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovel yes. stones is an option in Lethal Company. Yeah. Ooh. Bonk. Bonk. But this strategy is much more suited to like a it. lobby with ten guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh, fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a Space Hulk, the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Oh, oh, I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry death scream. <laughs> 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 Oh no! Tom and Jerry oh, looking dude. ass death. Alright, fuck I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. Bye! <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole ass large axle? I want to see him take anything. It. Alright, alright, you ready? Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He wow. took a whole ass large axle! <laughs> okay. <laughs> he seemed pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the okay. radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially gotcha. the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is Let being drinking. Do not give him the keys. 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 The wheel. Let's go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's too cute. Here's the wheel. Because if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship. And I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? Before we did you with We are aligning Digi. You are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. Yes. I think that those need to those need to go away. Yep. Yes. 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 I don't feel respected here. Why do I need reverb? Wait, where did you Did he just go? clip through the cabinet? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. A final question I'm sure you're asking, is Lethal Company scary? And the answer mm. entirely depends on settings. If you were in the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this. You only get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop. Uh, you know, the usual. No. It's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KV2. Look, if you're playing a game and you're not at least somewhat immersed in it, that's just a very sad game experience to me. Like, being immersed in your gameplay experience to me is one of the best parts of the game because that means that you are able to truly enjoy what you're doing. It's not just some weird activity for you to do now. It's something that's truly enjoyable and fun. So, I'm a huge fan of immersion. Dude, you smell like fucking beans, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game oh. makes it feel 3D with both distance and direction. Oh, you're above me, you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking haunting. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with three. That muffle effect due to distance tricks you into is feeling great. like you are in a place talking to other people. <clears throat> I oh, think I got my swagger back. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways, and my flashlight was almost dead. But like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead let's try this can anybody help me get out of the facility i'm just totally lost hello i have never felt so completely alone in my entire life you get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3d space that when you say something and don't hear anything back, oh. it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, at this point, uh. he didn't see me. No, you didn't see me, you didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? I can't find my way out. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that oh, was such a labyrinth, what? there was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. I retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking 100% forever alone. You are a dead man walking that they will never find. <laughs> I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't understand the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things and just I eat it and it just. Let's teleport, you ass! <laughs> Don't eat the Try. toilet either. That's just gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We just had Pirate Bay Alien no, 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 no. Shishkabob 47 money. I'm moving, Bill.
Oh my god, dude. The introduction of the Devil Barrel Shotgun from this Here we go. has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun. Yeah, we got him! Damn. Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally. They just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me, and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. You gotta, you gotta show it. Oh seven. <laughs> What's even funnier is that there's just a immediate headshot. A dramatic mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of turning teammates evil. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, and even that thing okay. is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. I got, I got five copies of the other. <laughs> there's like immediate load and fire. Reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster Goodbye, in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. You know what? I don't even care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me have it. Bon appetit. I just had to G-check him on that dog. This shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame it on me. Please, give me the shotgun. I'm normal. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed. The little girl coming after me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good against guns. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head is full. I guess that's one way of solving a behavioral I health issue. To tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire, and not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on, and I didn't manage to shoot, but thankfully Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety bobby. on. That solves your problem. Safety. Always <laughs> all. I'm responsible If I make it back, oh no, I do that. great. I just oh. Full set oh. Oh. What just happened? Just execution right there. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, alright? Sigrid is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? We are reaching levels of locked in we thought previously unattainable. I was so low fucking locked in. Sigrid, you fucking shot me the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem. Clapping multiple targets at once. Okay. Yo, come outside real quick. How did you kill all of us? Damn, somebody How killed me. How did we all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience depending on your perspective. Like cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What if gorilla? <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> 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 But if you turn on the wrong mod, necessary like mods, mods. Money, it ruins everything. Bruh, Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, Pasta doesn't know that there's gonna be a mine under his feet in three, two, one, and. Execution. It may be funny for a round or two, and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. What killed you? Oh my god, Chad. That's probably the scariest thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. Hi. But there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Gary. Um, bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. <laughs> yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 
one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah. This is Gary. Uh -oh. Wrapping on up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs, to the bits, to the jokes. I use my neural link to exterminate every peer soul owner in existence. Oh, why do you okay. hate your soul so much? That makes no sense. Damn, I don't want yeah. chat to get a neural link. If chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia's souls are built like Kingpin from Spider-Verse. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream. Wow. Do not forget about the Swow merch at the link Credit to if credit where it's due. He's days, earned it. It's a great way to support these videos. We'll also but I just look at them and I'm like, mm, right. I can't I'm help but feel a little envious. Reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind. And I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> if I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. I mean, after what he pulled <laughs> earlier. Why is my life? Constantly going downhill. Uh, Don't know about that. <laughs> Don't know about that. What is, what is this hatch actually for? All right, there it goes. This is gonna end badly. What? I just know this is gonna. <laughs> there it is. The Vegeta stance. Why did it do that? I read the directions on the jetpack. It said, "We fly high, no lie." From this company, from the company that you're interning for, you're gonna believe the instructions. I your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out on the merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Hell Divers 2, but I am so excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the whole wide world, and I will catch you in the next video. I just wanted to make a weird noise just to like really mark the end of the video, and I. I guess that works. Okay. Is there anything else? So this game really did outsell Call of Duty, didn't it? I'm impressed. I am impressed. Although nowadays, considering the tendencies of game developers, I probably shouldn't be. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm going to have to take a look back into some of his previous videos. See if I can, like, start attaching and placing uh, clips that I've seen to specific videos now. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I actually had to do in real life stuff, I'd probably be investing in more games like Lethal Company. But for right now, that's back burner. I'm working on... Uh, rogue trader right now while also taking care of this stuff but yeah that was fun okay so if you all enjoyed the video as much as i did go ahead and drop a like down there if you have suggestions for future videos leave them in the comments and again if you're new to the channel please hit subscribe it doesn't cost you anything more than a few seconds but it helps the channel claw its way towards that 1000 subscriber count but with all that said and done i've been alpha white wolf i'm signing off you keep howling wolf pack